Hello and welcome to the tech video from Monday, June 27th, 2011. I'm going to be uh, taking care of another request. If you've missed in the past few days, I've been doing request videos by email. Shoot me an email with the subject line request and the body of the email, whatever you'd like to see. Please be sure to check my channel, make sure I don't already have it. The email for that, ryan at techinform.us. I will be replying to those, letting you know if I've already done them, if I can't, or if I plan to in the near future. I know I have not gotten back to all of you who uh, sent me an email last week, but I do plan on doing that soon. Anyways, moving on to today's uh, video, it actually revolves around Mac OS 10.7 Lion and uh, how to do an upgrade to that uh, and install this. So this is the next version of OS X. We all know this. It's going to come after Snow Leopard. It brings some pretty cool features. It's a nice environment. I've uh, had some time to play with it. I do like it. Um, it's coming in July. It's $29. It looks like a very solid upgrade, and for $29, you'd be, you'd be stupid not to get it. Uh, it brings a lot of nice, cool stuff that's somewhat of a novelty, but uh, will make the whole user experience just that much better. Anyways, one of the things about this, uh, Apple released, or announced rather, that the only way to install this is through the Mac App Store, which is only on Mac OS 10.6.6 and above. That's Snow Leopard. It's obviously in 10.6.7 and 10.6.8 as well. So you're probably going to need 10.6.8, which is the most released, the most recent version of Snow Leopard that was released just a few days ago. You're going to need that to upgrade to Lion. And the concern is. Uh, what if you want to do a clean install to Lion? You want to format your hard drive, you want to go through, you want to quote unquote do it right, you know, not leave those fragmented files from the old OS. I understand that. I used Windows for years. I know what, tr what fragmented files are. Trust me, a Windows user <laughs> uh, for years. And um, that makes sense that you'd want to do that. And as far as I know, there is no way to do that. Of course, the software is not out yet, so I cannot um, give you facts with the way that works. If you read Mac Rumors, they had a post on it a couple days ago, maybe a week. Somebody uh, supposedly sent Steve Jobs an email, asked him the very thing I've been talking to you about. And uh, he replied very briefly that you will need a Snow Leopard DVD to fresh install Snow Leopard, whatever version it is. Uh, the version of Snow Leopard that came with your Mac, if you've gotten a Mac since 2009 or whenever that was, uh, that will work. Uh, then get in, connect to the internet, go up here, software update, update to the latest version of it. And from there, you will need to uh, get the Mac App Store, log in, and do it through there. Because that's how you're going to be buying Snow Leopard. Through the Mac App Store, it's going to download. It's only 30 bucks. Just do it. It'll download uh, and install, probably boot a few, reboot a few times, applying those files, and you're done. It's that easy. Um, so to reinstall it, you're going to need to reinstall Snow Leopard first, update Snow Leopard, go into the App Store, and then buy uh, Lion from there. So if you do not already have Snow Leopard, let's say you're on, on Leopard and you've been waiting for Lion, you're not going to buy Snow Leopard because you know Lion's right around the corner. Well, you're pretty much dicked. You're going to need to go and upgrade to Snow Leopard first, at least from what I can tell right now. Um, maybe somebody will figure out how to take that DMG that you download and put it on a DVD or a flash drive and make that bootable and do it that way. But uh, until it's out in a few weeks, sometime in July, uh, we're not going to know. So I am planning on doing it. I, um, or rather doing it through the Mac App Store. I just put an SSD in my MacBook Pro, so I reinstalled um, Snow Leopard with that, and I plan on going into um, Snow Leopard, which is a clean install, opening the Mac App Store, downloading it, letting it update for five minutes and do its thing. That should be fine with me. But if you've been using the OS for a while, maybe it's a little fragment, and I know it's nowhere near as bad as Windows, but any operating system is going to fragment over time. You are definitely going to need to, um, or going to want to, at least for better performance, to uh, go in there and unfortunately have to reinstall Snow Leopard, update that, and then go in and, um, and get your, your copy of Lion. So I hope that cleared things up. Maybe if uh, some big news comes out when Lion comes out about how to do a clean install, make another video, but we won't know until then. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Our website is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. Subscribe if you like uh, the content, and uh, keep uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I had a lot of requests, actually, I was surprised, to do a review of my monitor. So if all things go well, I plan on doing that. I had planned on doing it today. I didn't find the time, and now it's dark, so I can't do it. Uh, at least not with the right lighting. So I plan on doing that tomorrow. It's the Asus, I believe, VH232H. It's a 23-inch 1080p uh, LCD flat panel monitor. It's pretty nice. We'll do that review. I've had it for a while, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. So again, thank you. Subscribe if you like this stuff, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.